You may see it on the road. You may do it yourself, texting while driving. The National Safety Council reports cell phone use while driving leads to 1.6 million crashes each year across the country. But here in Wisconsin, most drivers who do it aren't getting tickets. Michelle Alfini is digging deeper to explain why it's so hard to nail down these distracted drivers and what it will take to make our roads safer. It was a country road and there was a payload of tractor that was slowing down to turn in front of me. And I was obviously not paying attention. <laughs> and when I looked up, I slammed into him. After that, Kaylin Vegter says everything went blank. At first, they told my family to say their goodbyes to me. They actually had to immediately completely remove the whole right side of my skull to allow my brain to swell. Because on January 7th, 2016, it's like your second nature to be on your cell phone. Caitlin's eyes weren't on the road. You think it will be one second. You do. But that one second has permanent effects. I copy. It's a kind of crash Dane County Deputy Bruce Miller sees all too often, which is why he considers cell phones one of the most dangerous distractions. You see people weaving all over the road. It's almost like they're impaired. It's Miller's job to get their eyes on the road, but he can't just stop anyone with a phone in hand. Our DA's office says it is not reasonable suspicion, meaning we cannot stop somebody just for manipulating the cell phone. Last year, the Dane County Sheriff's Office wrote about 250 inattentive driving tickets. Mm -hmm. Only 11 of those were for texting and driving. Yeah. Does that surprise you at all? It doesn't, actually. Do you think that there were 11 people who were texting and driving? Absolutely not. I probably, on the way to the precinct today, I probably passed at least 11 people who were texting while driving. It's not just Dane County with low numbers. Statewide, WizDOT records show 358 texting and driving convictions in 2018, meaning drivers were 68 times more likely to be cited for an OWI and 142 times more likely to get a ticket for not fastening their seatbelt. Miller says the reason why is simple. If they don't admit to it, we really can't, we can't write it because we, ha we don't have the evidence to write that they're, you know, texting while driving. Wisconsin law only covers texting or emailing while driving. So unless you're driving erratically, fiddling with your GPS on your phone or scrolling through Facebook behind the wheel are all technically legal. Just like the task that took Caitlin's eyes off the road. I was not texting. I was not Facebooking or Snapchatting. I was <laughs> trying to find that song. I could have killed somebody. How would I have lived with that? Now Caitlin helps others avoid her mistake, speaking at schools and working with the DOT. It took almost dying to learn my lesson, so let me share it so you don't have to. Meanwhile, Miller says he'd like to see deputies ramp up enforcement. We should be out there citing these people for this dangerous driving behavior that is actually causing the crashes. But without changing the law, he says that wouldn't necessarily prevent a crash like Caitlin's. So their best hope is a change in behavior. It is an effort. It is. It is something that you have to, you know, make yourself do. The Dane County Sheriff's Office says enforcement has improved since the work zone law passed in 2016. In the past two years, the department has issued 91 citations for being on the phone in a work zone compared to 23 texting and driving citations in the same time frame. According to the deputy, that's because the law requires less proof to enforce.